What's up YouTube? Welcome back to a new video with a new product. One that I'm a little late to the party on because of FedEx. I'll get into that into a second though. Um, this is first off the line Panini uh, or Dimers Optic Football. This is the premium edition. I don't know if it says it on here. Oh yeah, there we go. Right there. Premium edition. First off the line. Um, yeah, this was supposed to come yesterday like a lot of people's and uh, unfortunately FedEx messed up my shipment, shipment and it was supposed to arrive Monday. Um, they actually were sped it up a bit and it arrived today, Saturday. So I do have it in hand a little late. I have two boxes. I ordered two of them. They tried to double charge me and you know place two orders like everyone else, for example. And um, yeah, I didn't want four boxes. So I just canceled my order and um, got my two. So this stuff, very mass produced. Panini has definitely been, did I say Panini? Panini has definitely been milking a lot of their products. Prism like is an example of that. And um, yeah, first off the line. Uh, the next one to release should be Contenders. I'm not very high on that one, if you know why. Um, it's because the red zone, red foil tickets, like those replaced your chance at a Baker Mayfield cracked dice or a Sam Darnold playoff ticket. I mean, you can still get it. It'll be extremely rare, probably uh, same odds as like pulling the Baker one of one from a normal box. It's going to be so hard. You'd have to get it as a bonus auto. And that's, I don't even think that's a thing. So uh, yeah, this is cool stuff. Optic, oh, I need to go down. One pack, six cards per pack, or six per box. Two autographs, um, including one Purple Stars Parallel and one Purple star, uh, Stars Autograph, I believe. So cool, it's nice stuff. I believe we saw these Purple Stars Parallels in Optic Basketball last year, first off the line. So there we go, now let's get into it. Yeah, so I do have two boxes. It's gonna be interesting stuff. My main goal is just to get a Baker Mayfield Auto at the end of the year. I'm pretty excited for the normal version of optic. Well, I think I cut it from the wrong side. Oh well. Doesn't really matter. Take this off. In the background I have my Zeke and my Juju from 16 and 17. So that's the design. This year's design is nice too. I think that for three straight years they've given us a good design. And they give us this... Th their packaging really needs some work. I mean, I think the pack's re relatively secure, but imagine if it just slid around like that. Come on, Panini. All right, so here's what it looks like. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like this. It reminds me of the hanger boxes that you would get at like Target, for example, where the pack's just kind of sitting there. And I wouldn't, I'd prefer a not clear pack, but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Let's open this up. So I believe you get one rated rookie, one base, I think one normal rookie, the two purple parallels, and and then one other auto. I think I'm not 100% sure. I didn't look at the specs too much. But yeah, first off the line. Some first off the line's good, some's bad. It really just you know depends. Let me see if I can get a filler out here. Um, here we go. So we'll do this. Uh, this was a hundred dollars a box. A little pricey in my opinion, especially considering um, I don't know that you're only getting a few cards. But all right, let's do the first card. So we have Jordan Howard. All right, there's the base, just like the normal Don Russ, except it's Chrome which I love, I'm a sucker for Chrome, love it. Here's our Purple Stars Parallel, and it is Sean Lee, for all the Cowboys fans there, 13 of 25, pretty nice. Skip Bayless, would uh, love this card. All right, next one. Oh, Cortland Sutton, not bad, not bad at all. Purple Stars rated rookie of Cortland Sutton, I've hit a lot of Cortland Sutton stuff, folks, like, which isn't bad because I believe he'll be a good player. Um, if you have Cortland Sutton stuff, I would recommend you hold it. I'm not selling my Cortlands yet because, A, I'm not a fan of the QB situation, and B, I believe he'll uh, get better, especially now that Emmanuel Sanders is out for the year. He's going to get the line share of the targets for the rest of the season. And on top of that, um, Demarius Thomas is gone. So hopefully they can get a quarterback, too. I don't believe in Case Keenum trust him as far as I can throw him, and I can't throw him very far. So, there we go. Nice rated rookie. I do like the rated rookies, so probably hold on to this one for now. Put it here. Let's see. We should have one more autograph, and I think it's this card right here. Danny Etling. Black... Ooh, that's, that's a slick-looking card. There is a, a market of, of sorts for Danny Etling. That's a pretty nice one. Black Velocity, I think these are called, or Black Laser? I don't know. The names are so hard. Last year in basketball, this was called Velocity, but could have changed. That's not a bad card as far as two autographs go. Oh, and you can get three autograph boxes. 
which, I mean, that's, a, that's nice, right? Those are the technically hot boxes. Um, oh my goodness, that just reminded me. For normal optic, one reason why I don't want to buy too much is because those hot boxes are atrocious. And we have a third autograph. Boston Scott. This is red, number 25 of 50. Another sleeve. Not bad. So three autographs, one Cortland Sutton stars parallel. Um, I don't believe it's guaranteed it's a rated rookie. So you could have gotten one of those sticker autos. So, you know, keeping that in mind is a very good box. So now we're going to get our Minka Fitzpatrick rookie. And we're going to finish off with a base rated rookie. It's a fake rated rookie, though. And it's Shaquem Griffin. Not a bad one. Centering is a little off, but in 2016, the centering was really bad. I think in 2017, it got a little better, and hopefully this year with centering, I mean, based on these cards here, which all look really good except for this one, um, I'm assuming the centering is starting to get better with Panini, which used to be pretty bad. So let's recap this box. We hit that Shaquem, this Minka. Those are our two rookies. Sean Lee, number 25. 13 to 25, lucky number 13, and a Jordan Howard base. Those are four cards. You're, you only get six cards, but we got a hot box, so we got seven cards. Um, see, I wouldn't mind hot boxes in Optic if you're guaranteed a nice, you know, not nice, but like a rated rookie auto. A lot of times you can get all sticker autos and then points. And I hope I'm not alone in this, but I prefer quality over quantity. There we go. So Cortland Sutton, number 250, 28 of 50. Wish that was number 14 of 50. Danny Etling, not a bad one. This is a black one numbered 14 of 25, and then Boston Scott, numbered 25 of 50. So there's the box, not bad at all, I'll take it. And this is obviously the highlight. If you're interested in this Etling or this Scott, definitely hit me up. Um, the Cortland I'm probably gonna keep for now, I'm not gonna sell it yet. I don't like to sell low. Um, I'm gonna put them in my potential stack. I literally have a stack of cards, it's called the potential stack, but yeah, nice stuff. I'm pretty satisfied, so we'll close off with this one. Um, thinking about it now, my I've been pulling so many Broncos. I think I pulled tons of Royce Freeman's, one Deshaun Hamilton, and a bunch of Cortland Sutton's. It's a shame Royce Freeman's not the starter, so his stuff isn't you know exactly hot, but uh, Cortland Sutton, I believe, will be a good player. So that's going to do it. I wouldn't mind some Philip Lindsay when it comes to um, contenders. So that's that's when I hope my Bronco luck stays, stays up for then. So Purple Stars, I like it. So I will have the normal boxes too. I don't know how many, maybe just one or two. I was originally going to buy a case and then backed off of that, especially since I spent so much on Prism. I can't spend too much money. So that's going to do it. On card, rated rookie auto of Cortland Sutton. I still have one more box. have no clue what I'm going to do with it. Um, I might have a poll of some sort of some sort soon to vote on what products you want me to break. Um, and I'll kind of just get into more of that later. So stay tuned for a, kind of a post either on Instagram or uh, just kind of like a community post on YouTube. Uh, to vote for that so thanks for watching what do you guys think of the new premium optic kind of like the hta of bowman chrome or the choice of prison basketball i think i don't mind it at all um i like both don't hate either so it's nice stuff um thanks for watching please like and sub and i'll see you guys later